Why is Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo Madagascar Biodiversity Partnership, also known as the MBP, working all the way around the world in Madagascar? Madagascar is the home of plants, lemurs, reptiles, amphibians, and many amazing creatures that don't live in the wild anywhere else on Earth. Unfortunately, the forests in Madagascar that these great plants and animals depend on for their homes and their food are disappearing because the impoverished human population of Madagascar also depends on the forest for growing crops, mining, and gathering wood for fuel and lumber. Over 90% of Madagascar's original forests have been destroyed, leaving many of its animals in danger of going extinct, which means they will be gone. The MVP is helping the communities in Madagascar to rebuild and maintain forests for the animals to live in and also to create sustainable food and lumber sources for themselves. And these black and white rough lemurs are going to help. So how can these lemurs plant trees to make their own forests? By eating fruit. Black and white rough lemurs love to eat fruit. The seeds in the fruit go through their bodies, drop to the floor, and grow and grow until they become full trees for the next generation of lemurs to live in and get food from. The MBP will gather seeds from lemur droppings to grow up in nurseries where they will be safe until they are big enough to be planted in the ground. One of the black and white rough lemurs' favorite places to live is in Kinjavasu in southeastern Madagascar. Like all forests in Madagascar, Kinjavasu's forests have been fragmented by fires from slash and burn agriculture. So the lemur forest habitats that remain are small and separated. The reforestation program will connect these fragments so lemurs can all live together in healthy populations. Malagasy staff members from the MEP have helped communities and the villages surrounding Kinshvatsu's forest and the black and white rough lemurs to plant over 50,000 trees for the reforestation program. This effort, called the Education Promoting Reforestation Program, will add 1 million trees to Kinshvatsu's forest corridor by 2015 with the help of funding for nurseries and supplies of people to plant the trees. The community will benefit by having sustainable sources for new enterprises and the animals of Kinjivaksu will benefit by having a safe and healthy forest to live in.